Hello, my name is Julian Bessel from JW Astronomy and in this video I want to show you all the polar landing sites captured through my telescope. We begin with Apollo 11. The landing module, which was named the Eagle, landed on the smooth and safe terrain of the Sea of Tranquility. The three craters above the landing site are named after the astronauts of Apollo 11. Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins and Edwin Boss Aldrin. The goal of the mission was the first manned landing on the moon and to set up first experiments on the lunar surface. In this picture you can see the landing module Eagle with the astronaut Edwin Aldrin standing in front of it. Apollo 12 landed in the ocean of storms, south of the big crater Copernicus. They tried to land within walking distance of the Surveyor 3 probe, which they successfully achieved. The crew members were Charles Conrad, Richard Gordon and Alan Bean. Here you can see the experiment module, which contains a seismometer, a magnetometer and an instrument to detect solar winds. Apollo 14 landing site is near to Apollo 12 landing site. It is located in the Fra Mauro formation. Crew members were Stuart Rosa, Alan Shepard and Edgar Mitchell. Mission goal was to set up numerous experiments and take probes from a nearby crater. On the last EVA, Shepard became the first and only golf player on the moon. He brought two golf balls and a six iron golf club hat from Earth and made two swings. He reached a distance of 250 meters. Apollo 15 landed on a spectacular region called the Apennine Mountains. They touched down right next to Mons Hadley and the Hadley Rill. Crew members were David Scott, Alfred Warren and James Irwin. The mission goal was to discover the Hadley Rill and get probes of rocks near Mons Hadley. This was the first mission to use the Lona rover, greatly expanding the amount of ground the astronauts could cover. With the lunar rover they covered a distance of 28 km on the lunar surface. Apollo 16 touched down in the lunar highlands, in the Cayley Formation. Crew members were Ken Mattingly, John Young and Charles Dew. They hoped to find older rocks than previously found near the Young Maria. In the picture you can see how hilly the landing site was. In the background you can see the Lona Rover. Apollo 17 landed in the Taurus Littoral Valley, near Mare Serendipitatis. Crew members were Harrison Schmidt, Eugene Serlin and Ronald Evans. The astronauts once again searched for ancient highland material. In the process they broke a rear fender on the lunar rover and reattached it using maps and duct tape. In the picture you can see the lunar rover next to a big crater. They were the last humans visiting the moon since today. 
In the future, I hope there will be manned flights to the moon again to discover and research on our nearest neighbor. Thanks for watching and clear skies.